Hi there everyone, my name is Danny. Thank you for joining me for this Christmas edition of Christmas Carol Candlelit Aerial Yoga. If you're following along with us at home, we have a playlist to accompany this class on Spotify, on the Treeline Aerial Spotify. It's under Christmas Candlelit Carol Aerial Yoga. For today, our hammock is going to be at a low height, just below our knees. We're going to move through a nice restorative flow to help us refresh and reset going into the busy holiday period. So pop the playlist on and let's begin lying down on our backs. So lying on our backs placing our legs into the hammock, just behind the knees. Relax your body. And start to focus on your breath. Palms facing upwards. My legs hanging heavy in the hammock. Let the hammock support your weight. Slowing down the mind. Turning the gaze inwards. The holidays are such a busy time of the year for many people. Can be very easy to get caught up in the Christmas chaos. Often we forget to take time for ourselves, to nourish our body to be present in the moment, to enjoy the holiday season. Let's begin to take a little bit of a sway into the feet. And slow your sway down. Let the feet gradually come to stillness. Keeping our right foot in the hammock, let's release the left leg. We're going to bend the right foot up so the right knee is not bent, placing the left ankle on the right leg for figure four. If you want a little bit more, you can Clasp the hands behind the leg. 
and pull the knee towards you. Keeping our right leg in the hammock, let's release the left leg and bend the right knee in towards the spine. Left ankle crosses over the right leg for figure four. Option to clasp the hands behind the leg and pull the right knee more towards the nose for a deeper stretch in the left glute. Sending the breath down to wherever you need it to go. Relaxing and releasing the tension, letting the hammock assist you, letting go. If you want a little bit more, you can always press the left hand on the left knee for a deeper stretch. Hugging the left knee in towards the body, straightening the right leg. One last hug and releasing the left leg. Let's take another little sway here in between. This time releasing the right leg. And hugging the left knee in towards the body. Keeping the right foot flexed. And sending the breath down to the hip and the glutes. Letting that left foot hang heavy in the hammock. Just sink into the pose. The hammock is here to do the work for you. All you need to do is relax. If you're tuned into our Christmas playlist, I hope you're enjoying the accompanying songs. Again, you can always bring that right hand to the right knee for a little bit of a deeper stretch. Or you can stay where you are. Let's take one last deep inhale here together. And exhale, straighten the left leg, hugging the right knee into the body. You might want to do a little circles here as well, just to loosen up the hip. You can go the opposite direction as well. Nice, let's hug the other knee in, releasing it from the hammock. Wrapping the arms around the legs. Lose your hammock. Nice big squeeze. And relax. Let's use the hammock to help guide us up. 
I'm gonna come onto our knees. If you have a block nearby, you may want to grab it. If not, that's no problem. I'm gonna fan the fabric out and go into a child's pose variation. So bringing the body through the hammock, fanning the hammock out over the chest, taking the knees a little bit wider. I like to bring my block here so I can rest my head on the block, but you can also reach the arms in front of you or all the way out, or bring the hands behind you. So whatever variation you choose, let's get comfortable and sink into the pose. I find this posture very supportive. It's really nice to be able to breathe deeply into the ribs in the back, creating space for the lungs. Sending oxygen around the body. Enjoying the stillness of the posture. Let yourself sink heavy towards the earth. Breathing into the back of the lungs, creating space between the ribs. These restorative poses we tend to hold for a little bit longer. I'm getting the full relaxation from the pose. A reminder that you don't need to be anywhere else right now. Staying present on your mat. Letting your hammock support you. If your hands are behind you, slowly bring them to the front. And use your hands to slowly press up, rolling up nice and slowly. And bring the hammock in front of us now, keeping our left hand in to begin with. If you had a block, you can move that out of the way. Reaching the left arm forward. I have another child's pose variation. You might want to bring a little bit of movement into this one. And reaching the arm across the body. Feeling that nice side stretch.
You may want to settle in the side body stretch for a moment. And feel that opening all the way down the left hand side. Nice expansive breaths here. Bring the hand back towards the midline and roll it up. Let's release the hand and turn the palms upwards. And take a nice deep breath here together. I'm diffusing cinnamon in the background today, so there's lots of Christmas smells in the studio. It's very festive. Okay, right hand into the hammock. Send the arm forward, left arm comes to the ground. For our child's pose variation on the other side. Nice deep breaths. Let's bring a little bit of movement, bringing the right arm over to the left side, a gentle swaying motion. Perhaps choosing to stay in that position with the, the arm across the body. Nice big stretch opening on the right hand side of the body. And slowly releasing the hand back to the midline. I'm going to roll the body up nice and slowly. Let's just take a second here. Another deep breath. You might feel a tingling sensation in the hands as all the blood is circulating the arms. Okay, we're going to transition into our mild inversion of our puppy pose. So, opening our fabric and coming onto our knees. We may need to slide the knees back a little bit. So we're going to come into our plank position to help us assist here. So bringing the fabric just below the hip bones. I'm going to bring the hands onto the ground and walk the feet back in our plank position. Once you feel the hammock's got you and you're under your ringing point, we're going to release the feet down to the ground and then hands can stay on the um, front of the mat in Sphinx pose or we can release the hands all the way down to the mat and the forehead to the mat as well. I'm just getting a nice shoulder stretch here. If that's too much for you, you can always back off into our forearms on the ground. And letting the hips hang heavy into the hammock. Massaging the hip flexors. And 
You also have the option to bring the hands together in prayer and bend at the elbows. It's a nice variation. I quite enjoy it. Sinking deeper into your hammock. You may want to release the feet and take a little bit of a sway here. I'm going to release my hands to help keep me steady. It's a little bit more intense pressure on the hip bones. So this might not be for you. And that's okay. Starting to slow down this way. Releasing the shins back to the ground. I'm going to take three more breaths here. Releasing the hands to the mat. Walk your hands back towards the body. Come onto the knees. And bring the knees under the rigging point. We're going to transition through our cross position here. So bring the hammock behind the armpits like you're in a backpack position. You can open the knees a little bit. I'm going to just take a little lie back here, cradle the head, and just take a little bit of a sway. Do a nice heart opening position. And if you'd like to fully release into it, you can release the hands and the head. If that's too much on your neck, keep the neck tucked. Or you can continue to cradle the head. Sweeping the hands back up onto the hammock. I'm going to release. I'm going to transition to our reclined bond angle. I find the easiest way to get there is to come into seated position in the hammock. And we actually want to move the hammock onto the lower back. So we're going to walk our feet out and find that position. Once we've found the position, Going to bring the hips under the rigging point and you're quite stable in this position. Your shoulders should be on the ground. Bring the right leg to the front of the fabric and then if you feel ready, bring the left leg around. So we're in this nice triangle position. We'll have to take a little sway here. Find this inversion extremely relaxing. You can just hang heavy. It's a really great hip opener. Mild inversions are really good for coming our nervous system can help with anxiety and stress. You have left all of your shopping to the last minute. 
This might be a good place you want to hang out. I'm gonna straighten one leg on the left side of the hammock. So crochet the leg from the bend all the way up. You can bring the hands out a little bit wider, palms facing towards the ground. And take a little bit of a spinal twist here. Right knee's gonna stay bent. You should feel some nice opening on the left hand side of the body. Releasing the left leg down, coming back to the middle. Let's wash it out with a little sway. Same thing, other side. Right leg straightens and crochets around the fabric. Left leg stays bent, hands placing into the ground. And a little bit of a twist here. A little bit of an oblique crunch on the left, but a really nice open on the right side. And releasing the leg back down and wanting it out. It's going to go into a little bit of a deeper hip opener here. So keeping the left leg where it is, we're going to release the right leg and bring it down to the ground. It's a nice legs up the wall variation there. So you might feel the blood flowing through the legs all the way into the feet. I want to get a little bit deeper into that right hip flexor. Option to straighten the right leg. And you're going to feel a nice deep stretch in through the psoas. If that's too much for you, you can always back off and come back to our bent leg. You decide. find my hip flexors are always really tight this time of the year. A lot of skiing, snowshoeing, cross-country skiing, lots of fun snow activities. It can be really tiring on the legs, especially when you're an aerialist. Use my upper body a lot more than my lower body, so this time of the year it gets challenging for the legs. I love this pose because it really uses the hammock, and the hammock does most of the work here. We just Get to stay still and breathe. And when you're ready, if your leg is straight, you can start to slide the foot in back towards the bum. And we're gonna bring that right leg out nice and wide and back around the front of the fabric. 
We'll do the same thing, releasing the left leg this time. So the left leg comes off the fabric, around, and reaches to the floor. It might be a little bit tighter on one side than the other. That's normal, just acknowledge it without any judgment. If you did want to straighten your left leg, you can go ahead and do that, get a little bit deeper. And smiled inversions are really gentle inversions, especially if you're not used to being upside down for long periods of time. These can be a great way to start transitioning into your inversions. They're a little bit more gentle and forgiving. Take one last deep breath here. And on the exhale, sliding the left leg back in if you had it straightened. I'm gonna leave the left foot where it is and release the right leg. Tucking the chin, bringing the hands back onto the fabric. Grab on nice and tight. Then you're gonna pull yourself up transition onto your knees, bringing the fabric into the armpits, hanging heavy for a ragdoll counter stretch. And I feel lots of blood moving around in the lower back. Bringing fresh oxygen to the cells, rejuvenating, energizing. And slowly rolling the body back up. I'm going to release the fabric from the shoulders. Let's find the fabric out and we're going to go ahead and get seated inside. I'm going to gather the fabric behind us and let's go ahead and get seated in there. You can find the back of your hammock. We're gonna snuggle the shoulders in and you can straighten the legs for a reclined second stage. Let the head hang heavy towards the knees. can take a little bit of a spinal twist here. So bringing the right arm through the middle and to the left side of the left knee.
feeling that nice opening in the upper back. Releasing the arms back. We're going to switch arms. So the right arm comes behind us. The left arm comes to the right hand side of our mat. And then relaxing into our twist. Really breathing deeply into the back of the rib cage. Let's take one more deep breath here. And release. Okay, we're gonna transition into our saddle position. The easiest way I find to do this is to lean back and bring the right leg to the other side of the fabric. You might need to reposition yourself here. And the head can lean gently into the front of the fabric. The hands can be palms up on the knees. And the fabric's just behind our knees, supporting us. And our feet will be on the ground. A nice soft opening in the hips. your feet on the floor to give you a little bit of a sway. Mm, option to bring the feet into the hammock, spreading the hammock all the way out. And a nice gentle stretch in the hamstrings here. I like to lean my head onto the fabric in front of me and turn my head to the left for a little bit of a neck stretch while I'm in here. If you have your head turned to the left, and change sides and look over to the right. Option to bring the soles of the feet together, bending the knees, and gently resting the forehead on the fabric in front of you.
Let's take one big deep inhale here. And sigh it out. Slowly begin to open the legs. You can press into the front of your hammock and bring your left leg to meet your right leg. As we transition into our final resting position, floating Shavasana. Bringing the hammock all the way up over the head. You might need to wriggle around a little bit there. Arms can be across the chest or by the sides. Or you can hang them behind you. Whatever feels most comfortable and relaxing. And let the hammock hold you. Please feel free to stay in Shavasana for as long as you like or as long as you need today. Wishing you a very happy holidays, whatever you choose to celebrate. I hope you have a beautiful Christmas period with lots of love, light, and happiness. Namaste.